Postal problems continue in Georgia, and so does U.S. Senator John Ossoff's efforts to get answers from the U.S. Postmaster General. The delivery delays persist at a mail distribution facility in Palmetto. 11 Alive's Liza Lucas takes a look at where they stand with the mail. In nearly three months since the new regional processing and distribution center opened in Palmetto, and we've gotten nearly 3,000 emails since. The move marking a major change in mail operations in Georgia, part of the 10-year plan to overhaul the postal system. We would hope that uh, our officials would do something about this issue so that people can get their mail on time. As customers continue to experience delays, U.S. Senator John Ossoff among the members of Congress continuing to demand answers. Senator Ossoff expecting a response to his latest letter sent Thursday to Postmaster General Louis DeJoy. That letter laying out a one-week timeline for the Postmaster General to provide updates. Postal workers are out there in our communities working their hearts out every day to deliver the mail on time. But if they don't have the leadership from headquarters in Washington and they don't have the infrastructure necessary to do their jobs, they can't do their jobs. 11 Alive has been tracking on-time delivery rates for first-class mail for weeks. The goal, which you can see in red, is to deliver at least 95% of mail on time. While numbers are improving in Georgia, on-time delivery rates for first-class mail still remain under 70%, with only 44% of single-piece letters getting processed on time. The Postmaster General has one job, deliver the mail on time. He is failing the people of Georgia. He owes me answers this week on his progress solving this problem. And as I said at the committee a few weeks ago, if he can't solve this problem, I don't think he deserves this job. Liza Lucas reporting for us. Senator Warnock has also sent demands for information and reiterated to 11 Alive News that he thinks DeJoy should resign. But as a reminder, only the Board of Governors can make a change to the Postmaster General role, and there was no mention of any changes at their most recent meeting last week. For